show you how to use this bandit. Always remember safety first. I got my glasses, some gloves, and my earpiece. Turn the engine ignition once, and you'll see it's going to boot up. Now you can see your controls in your menu. We can get started right away by turning the ignition, but before I do that, it's going to make a lot of noise. I just want to show you some of the controls. First thing you're going to want to do once the engine is on is you're going to want to keep it at a, about 1200 RPMs. That way, you can engage your chip in. This lever, you're going to press it down, and um, that should engage the chipper. After you press this down, we're going to press the rabbit button here. So it's this one. You can see there's a rabbit right there and to the right, this is the turtle. Rabbit makes it faster. I mean, it makes the RPMs go higher. So we're going to hit that until we get up to 2600. You either hold it in or click it until it gets there. Once that, get, uh, once that gets to 2600, then your chipper will engage and you'll be able to feed wood into the chipper. Now, with this engaged back the whole way, it's going to suck in the wood. But if you push this, it's gonna shoot the wood out. So in case anything ever happens, you can just push this and it'll shoot the wood. Not shoot it, but it'll, it'll bring it back out slowly. You do not ever stick your hands or anything in here other than wood. So if you wanna change the direction where the wood is gonna be um, shooting, this is your guy here. First, you wanna take this pin and bring it. If you can come up here, you can lock it there, right there. Oops, lock it right there. And now I can move this and you'll see up here, this thing is gonna turn any way you want. So once we have it lined up, we'll lock it in the tooth. You can see there's teeth here. Our goal is to get it in one of those teeth. So when it snaps, boom, it's locked in the tooth. That's what you'd like. Now we got it aiming and shooting inside of our trailer. Here is the controls for that. If you want the chute to go on a steeper angle down, you can turn it either way you want. This is gonna bring it up. You can see it's going up. And then the opposite's gonna go down. Once you're comfortable, you just leave it and you should be good. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a few options you can use to operate this machine. Let's come over here. So I'm going to turn the key. That'll turn the computer on. And the first button here says mode. You can see right above it, it says mode. I'm going to click this button here. And then you can see it says FS on. If I click this button once, you'll see the square will uh, go around that. And that means fuel save is on. So you can set the time to 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and every uh, 60 seconds or 90 seconds, it will, uh, the RPMs will go back down to around 1200. Um, that way you can save some fuel. If you turn that off, the RPMs will stay at what you set it. So around 2600 for the machine to run. So I'm gonna click back, and those are some of the options. So maintenance. If I click on maintenance, and I click on setup, again, You'll see fuel save time. We can set the time minus or plus. So you can set it to 90 seconds, sorry, 90 seconds or 60 seconds. We'll set it to 60 seconds and that's where we'll have it. Music 